everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this message is good for whenever you come across it. Feel free to piece together with some of the shorter videos to get a full message for you. So just some business stuff out of the way here in the beginning. If you are watching this before June 27th, make sure you sign up for the Archangel Gabriel live session. It's going to be amazing. I love connecting with you guys and seeing your faces. You can interact with me face to face. We will be going through... Uh, a little bit of information about Archangel Gabriel. And so if you're into writing, you're an artist, a communicator, very important to sign up for this live. It's going to be 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, and we'll go through a whole meditation. Replays are available, so you can go back and revisit the uh, meditation as often as you like. And of course, if you can't make it for the live, but you got the ticket, you can go back and watch it later. So no worries about that. If you would like a personal reading, let's talk about this. If you would like, I think I have speckles on my glasses. This is driving me nuts. If you would like a personal reading with me, go to angelsouls444.com. Those are the conventional readings that I've been doing for years and years. When it's available, when I can do it, here we are, we're back now, <laughs> okay? When I have some availability, I am now going to be taking on some live video clients. Now that pricing is going to be different than the standard reading. So you have to email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Don't just sign up on my website. The reason why it's not on my website is because it's not going to be a constant offering. It's just kind of like here and there when I have extra time uh, and I can do it, <laughs> then I will put it out there. But if people are going to come in, I, I need to lay this down. Okay. If people are going to come in and it's a whole lot of expecting me to jump around their schedules and all this stuff. I have limited time frames when I can do this. So if it doesn't work out, don't take it personally. It's okay if you have a busy schedule, that's cool. Let's see if it'll work out. But if it doesn't, you know, the regular reading is still available, okay? So don't forget about that. Of course, I'm gonna be hopefully working this weekend to do some more editing on my book, Matronia, and getting, maybe, maybe if I'm really good this weekend, I can get a couple more chapters up over at Substack. The deal with that is that it is a monthly subscription for $7 a month, but you don't have to sign. I mean, there's not even much to read there. So don't, I wouldn't, unless you really want to support me and thank you, I wouldn't sign up for it just yet. <laughs> but you can sign up for free and read the little tidbits that I have up there now. And of course, I'm going to try to get the blogs going. We've got a lot of stuff doing the extra readings for Patreon for just a dollar a month over there. You can get extra readings there. I have courses over at Gumroad, all kinds of things. Okay, I got all the things, right? So if you want any of that information, and again, thank you for your support if you're doing that, all that information is in the description box below. Let's get to the good stuff now. I know you're like, Michelle, stop. Stop talking. <laughs> right? So there's a whole lot of us shifting over and living more authentically, I know we talk about that all the time, but here's what I mean about how it's coming up now, how this is a little bit different. We are realizing we can get by on less. We, this is kind of that theme of like simplifying our lives. Okay, so kind of going down that road. Um, yeah, our sanity is worth more than the money <laughs> kind of thing. So be aware of that and Yes, we're coming up on tough times. If you think, well, that's why I keep talking about we have to really make sure we have spiritual resilience. We have to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves in that way and clearing our energies and not pushing to manifest things that maybe we don't actually need or maybe that you don't actually want. Anybody out there, comment down below. You stuck on someone, the one that got away, but really if you got to know them, I mean, are they really that person that you have idealized in your head? Maybe, maybe not, right? Um, but the, the beautiful advice that's been going around on social media, especially for women who date men, uh, is that if he hasn't done it by now, he's not going to. Or if he hasn't shown you that he appreciates you, he's not going to. And I think, I wanna pass that along here because I think that's valuable information. There's a lot of people, whether, you know, no matter what your dating scenario is, there's always this idea, this conditioning that, oh, you know, humans are so complicated, therefore you should put up with stuff. No. Or, oh, it's so hard to get a job, therefore you should, I mean, be careful with your finances, of course. You know, you take every situation as it comes. but. 
you know, if you're in a place that's draining you mentally and emotionally, no, you don't need to put up with that. Okay, you can choose something else. So let's get some cards, some things for us to consider. Here's how to listen to these readings. I know there's a lot of confusion around this and there's this thought that, oh, you need to break it down into signs in order for it to make sense for certain people. I mean, we, that's, a, that's one approach, sure. But even though this is a general reading for everybody who's watching this, everybody who's watching, it, the message is gonna hit you in the way that it needs to hit you, okay? <laughs> so no, it's, it's valuable for you too. All right, so the first card out we have is Queen of Raphael. Now, this is getting in touch with your emotions and being, I don't wanna say in control of your emotions because it, then it's like you're contriving your emotions or something. But this is having that deep understanding, being in touch with your empathy, and probably from that space then going, okay, now I'm not gonna choose what I've chosen before. I'm no longer going to sit around and wait for that person to come back. Or I'm not gonna wait for someone to learn that they need to respect me. I'm not gonna keep putting energy into somebody who doesn't have empathy or is just trying to drain everybody and you know I was thinking I want to connect this story or this example to this card because I was I just went to this class I might have a new hobby in candle making it was so fun with all the information that had just come through I really just needed a calm evening and you know took this class and it was beautiful and it, it got me into the space of like I don't know I guess I've always been used to going to networking events or what happens with my kind of career when people ask me what I do and I say YouTuber what kind of YouTuber spiritual okay well what do you mean I do card readings I do you know readings for people usually and if you're a reader you know how this goes or if you're a doctor or a financial advisor you know how this goes in my case it's oh can you read me read me oh we got to exchange information so that I can get a reading from you and they usually expect to get a free reading <laughs> right and they're not respecting that I have I have to make a living right I have to pay my own rent and rent costs have skyrocketed so I usually get that kind of like siphoning you know energy and when I went to this class it was not like that at all and as a matter of fact I felt like I could just come right out and say because someone asked me this is what I do uh, and nobody jumped on that. And what's more, in a social situation, there is this uh, idea that when you go into a social situation, people should be exchanging phone numbers and whatever. I see that as a huge red flag. And I wanna pass that along to you because a lot of you are very sensitive and empathic and people do come in and wanna kinda take your energy. It's not a good thing, in my opinion, just my opinion, who am I? Um, but it's, in my opinion, not a great thing if you just met somebody and they're like, oh, we need to hang out. Oh, we need, to. they usually want something from you. I would much rather maybe take this class again and again. And if the same people show up, we slowly and organically get to know one another. And then maybe we go out for coffee, right? But it's not this kind of thing of like, oh, I find you fascinating. I'm gonna grab onto you. I'm gonna claim you, right? So be careful, that's not healthy. No, that's not being socially good, okay? Like, <laughs> that's usually somebody who, who's being too needy or again, you know, narcissists. They wanna grab you up and claim you for supplies. So just be careful with that. Anyway, back to the card. Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, psychic. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. This is getting in alignment with your priorities and it is, you know, having these realizations like the one I just gave you. How often are we told that it's more important to be popular than to have good connections, right? How many people say, oh, I, I'm, I'm so hot and in demand because I have so many followers on blah, 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 blah. That's not true connection. <laughs> right? The Queen of Raphael says you're healing some aspect. You're having some realization around that and going, you know what? No, I, I don't want to go to an event to try to make business connections unless it is specifically set up for that. If it is a networking event, that's different. I cannot tell you how many times, this was in the past before I was even doing this professionally, people would invite me <laughs> they were supposed to be like fun hangout things and they turned into net this was in new york city so of course it was like a networking thing all the time and i would come across these people who were at a young age you could just tell they were taught to shut down their empathy and it was like talking to a robot and they were like 
They were like overanalyzing everything I said to the point where I'm like, I'm tired. I got to go. I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about anymore. <laughs> like, do we have to talk business? My goodness. Anyway, I think I, the reason why I'm bringing that up is I just feel like socially we are starting to make that kind of turn. Okay. So six of Ariel, we have material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. We're going to talk about this. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. What this feels like is that you're getting your due. Now, a lot of times this is depicted with people like begging and, you know, um, getting a handout sort of, but you see, this is a very different energy on these cards. <laughs> That's why I use them. And this is about balance. So this, this does kind of stray away from like traditional tarot readings, right? Um, this is more about getting into harmony, balance, and realizing that you don't have to shove or push or, um, you know, to have your manifestations come true. This also has that feeling of if I win, other people don't necessarily lose. This idea that everyone can have access to abundance, it's not in short supply, all right? So balancing that within yourself. And you see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, she's by herself. There are no people begging, okay? So again, the meaning on this card for this particular reading is more about when you balance out and harmonize within yourself, you're not really depending on other people to give you charity. You're empowered yourself. I would even take this so far, I know I'm like really reading into this too much, but there are apples in here. So it's not coins, it's apples. You're like, wait, bring that back. Can you see it? I don't even know if you can. Don't mind my nails, I didn't I didn't paint them again. <laughs> so, but anyway, those are apples if you can't tell. And uh, you know, this is nourishment. This is the abundance from the earth. This is being cared for in unexpected ways. So. What this makes me think of, and I'll, I'll pass this along to you, we might be sitting there going, I need money, I need money, I need, 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 you know, and it has that kind of needy, desperate energy behind it. It pushes it out. But maybe what you want is nourishment. I was about to say feed yourself, <laughs> but like maybe, maybe you're just trying to get money so you can feed yourself or your family. I guess that's not ridiculous after all, um, especially in this day and age. But this is like, instead of trying to manifest the money to get something, just manifest the food that will come to you. Or you want a house, manifest the house. You don't need a gazillion dollars. Some of you might be like, yeah, you do. <laughs> but you know, you know the, the idea here is that the help comes in unexpected ways. So let's say you have a lot of debt and you're like, oh, I gotta work harder. Oh, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. And then maybe something happens. I'm not trying to get into anything controversial here, but like student loan forgiveness, for example. Maybe it happens for you, I don't know, maybe. And then you're like, oh, I don't, I don't need to work so hard to pay that off because this thing happened, right? So just, and things are shifting, be, be ready for that, uh, definitely. So this is more about being in harmony and balance and realizing how to really get what you really want, okay? Which is not where we typically go. We're in such a money-centric world that we keep thinking we have to manifest the money to get what we need. And instead, I think this is saying manifest what you need instead. Divine guidance. There's a number five on there. How does that relate to this? Before I even read the stinking card, let me tell you right now. Okay, you ready? Lean in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like, nah, you're not going to tell me what's valuable in partnership, in love. Um, some of you, I'm going to give an extra meaning on this one. When you come to a love partnership, you realize that what you were told you're supposed to want is actually kind of a turnoff, okay? Like, let's say, sorry, successful men out there. Sorry. I, I'm going to, I don't mean this about all of you, okay? But <laughs> maybe you were told, like, um, you're supposed to want a successful man or you're supposed to want a woman who will clean your house. I don't know. We're playing with roles here. But um, you might realize, no, I don't want somebody, like, if you're somebody who dates women, I don't want somebody who doesn't have an opinion. I want somebody who can think for themselves. I mean, my goodness, like what the heck? Or if you date a, a supposedly really successful guy, you realize that he's a hot freaking mess or he's a player and he doesn't respect women or, you know, he never worked on his stuff and he shut down his empathy so he could be successful. And now you got a mess on your hands, right? Now you got somebody who you walk into a room and everybody's like, I wonder if he still remembers me. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot, okay? But that's an example of us deconditioning and 
that Queen of Raphael is saying we're healing that part of ourselves. Now, that doesn't mean that if you meet somebody who's successful and maybe they have a past or whatever, if, you know, I guess people can heal case by case, right? But going into that six of Ariel too, how you have your needs met is changing too because your emotional state is changing. I hope I'm making sense here. Okay, so the Divine Guidance card has Archangel Sandalfin on it and Sandalfin's all about get grounded, get real. Okay, don't get off into spiritual la la land. Okay, don't get off to spiritual sidestepping. Make sure you're clearing and cleansing your uh, chakras and making sure that everything is activated because there, there's a deep awareness that's going. And if you guys are wondering, oh, all the times, how are, you know, the times in the future here, what's going to be shifting? Everything. Now, it's not all bad. It could be a little uncomfortable because we're kind of like, but I'm used to it this way. <laughs> this is definitely, you're getting some divine guidance splitting through uh, the fake narrative. Can I put it that way? All right. The search for meaning in life. That's what the card says. That's a lot. Um, consider an alternative approach. Yeah, to like not look for this meaning of life. <laughs> Let me figure out the mind of God. I'll get back to you later. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Okay, fine. So you could take that if you want, I suppose. But what, what I'm picking up on here is that there's some divine clarity coming in. And again, it has to do with exactly what kind of love partner do I want? Or how do I want to show up? If you're already married, how do I want to show up in this marriage? You know, do I want to be the person that's constantly trying to rebel against my spouse to aggravate them? Because I feel like, grow up, okay? No, don't antagonize nobody. What are you doing? <laughs> Someone going to show this to their spouse and be like, this lady says, okay. <laughs> and then we have the six of air going back to that again, uh, realizing that you can get by on less and you don't have to work so hard. You don't have to, you know, drive yourself crazy to get what everyone says you should want. Comment down below about anything. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. What's happening? What is even going on? All right. Wow. You ready? Okay, so here all these <laughs> fell out. I wouldn't normally take all these, but I feel like I have to. So here we go. It's going to be a long reading. So the sun, I want to read this first. Archangel Uriel. This is what it's going to lead to, okay? Uh, life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So we're breaking free. And this is about true expression. Remember we had Archangel Sandalfin about the chakra. So this is the solar plexus and how you show up in the world, okay? How you let people see you and your self-esteem. We have the wheel, Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah is all about stopping and looking at your life, life review, what's working, what's not working. And this says new beginnings. So we're saying, and then we have the four of Michael over here too. So this is definitely, let me read it. The new beginnings, uh, end of delays, a change in a change. Number five was on that card. A change in direction that offers happiness. <sighs> I have to read these together because the message, so you, you got that part, right? So here's the next piece. The world, Archangel Michael, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and, and insight. So we're changing by, you know, small steps, realizations that come through this. We'll get to this here in a second. But this is starting to break us open into a new way. Don't be afraid to set boundaries with people, okay? Like I said at the top of the reading, I'm offering you know, video readings now based on availability. And already I got people going, no, 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 do it this way. Do it that way. Do it. This ain't going to work. Okay. <laughs> Again, limited spots. So I, I, if it works great, if it doesn't, okay, that's fine too. But ugh, you know, some people are using that as a control mechanism. So we're waking up to that. We're waking up to that. But how do we wake up to it? The four of Michael. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. And I would dare say, I mean, yes, resting, unplugging, unplugging from your day to day so that you get a new perspective. And I say this in a lot of personal readings and people must think I'm nuts, but I really think it's important to try new hobbies, try new hobbies. I was saying that I went to a candle making class. Oh, did I show you my candles? Oh, you can't see them. I'll show, I'll show them at the end of the video. I made those. 
they're right back there. I went to a candle making class and just being able to relax and be around good people and all of that, I came away very clear minded. Okay. So go off and try something else. There's a huge shift going on here and it's going to start in your personal realm. Okay. <laughs> These realizations, it's not about being self-righteous. It's not about um, blaming other people and saying, well, you're the reason why I feel this way. No, you feel the way that you do because of you. No one else. Well, this person doesn't treat me well because you allow them to treat you that way. You're still showing up, right? You're still going into it. Now, obviously every situation is different. Yes, there could be very heavy situations. I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about people who, you know, um, again, let me just stick with the examples that I had before. Like, let's say uh, a woman who dates a man, she wanted the kind of flashy guy with the, you know, all the money and all that stuff. And she gets into it and she's getting cheated on. And she can't believe that he would dare. I thought, well, he, he fed you a story. <laughs> he fed you a line that you were, it's called love bombing. You're the greatest, right? And then once he had you and could siphon off of you enough, he had you where you where he wanted you. And then he's going off and doing his own thing. And at that point, you might even be financially dependent upon him and feel like you can't leave. And that's just the surface level. It goes deeper than that. So that's one example of how, you know, we need to take accountability for what we're manifesting, what we're bringing in, what we are partaking in, you know, and I, I'm, I'm getting very happy that there, there are more and more videos out there, uh, especially the young women out there. Keep going with your voices. Keep, yes. Keep going, girls, <laughs> ladies. Okay. Keep going. Uh, because they're, they're stepping up and saying, yeah, I'm single and I will be single until I meet the right person. And no, I'm not going to get desperate and needy and just run into whatever and get treated any old way. I am, I don't know why I keep feeling like I need to pat down my mane. <laughs> let it, let it, let her be wild. She, she wants to be wild. Let her be wild. This was me trying to straighten my hair so hot good anyway back to people <laughs> we're breaking those patterns and we're not you know again there was this whole narrative out there there's something wrong with you if you're single you can't blah 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 oh whoa oh, no please so keep it going wake up to whatever you need to wake up to stop complaining if you don't have someone okay stop complaining if you don't like your job figure out what's best for you do what you got to do Figure out a new path. And you, you have all, look at all of this. Got all the resources to do that. Oh, I'm acting like we're done. We're not done. It's a really long video. Sorry, y'all. You got your long form here. And then I do daily inspiration card readings. So again, you can always go over there and check that out. I feel like that's it. As you protect yourself. See, okay. Okay, we're fine, okay. As you're protect yourself, the number is 36. It reduces to nine. Nine is coming to the end of an accomplishment. It's, it's having learned your lesson and protect yourself. Doesn't mean, you know, be paranoid, be all like the victim, right? And be like, Oh, I'm too precious for this world. Blah. You're still here. If you could, if you couldn't embody a human body, you wouldn't have. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> protect yourself is more about protect yourself from your own thoughts. Protect yourself from how you perceive things. Protect yourself in the way of reclaiming your power. And, and that doesn't mean by telling someone off. It's about boundaries. It's about saying, you know what? I can see that this person's trying to aggravate me. This person's trying to start something with me. You don't get my emotions. You don't get to siphon off of me in that way. Or I'm going to take accountability and protect myself by realizing I choose the wrong love partners. You know, I let the old fashioned society determine who I date. I have to date someone successful. I have to date someone super hot. I need a trophy wife. I need a man who's gonna take care of me. Uh, again, that whole financial thing, I'm going on like really like old fashioned ideas, but that whole financial thing, if, if you have to compromise too much of who you are, I mean, if you have to compromise yourself at all, 
and maybe do things that you're not comfortable with or if you have someone especially who's like don't talk like that in public and don't da -da -da -da. oh whoa, whoa 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 back away protect yourself you don't need to put up with that so there's that i'm gonna show you my candles hold on i gotta move my chair <laughs> i'm gonna okay i'll show you like that because i cannot move this dang chair but that one burned down fast whatever okay oh i hit my microphone whatever okay <laughs> we're a hot mess over here okay that's fine hopefully i will see a lot of you live on monday june 27th if you're watching this after that no problem it's cool like this is still valid anyway we'll let you go so you can get on with your lives <laughs> i love you guys take care